What's up, everybody? So, a little uh, pre-workout. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. So you get the videos when they come out. So I'm at LA Fitness in Springfield doing some back workouts with Kenneth. You are ready. What's up, y'all? Uh-huh. So we're going to do a little back. and a little sauna. You want to see us do that. We're going to start right here. A little back machine, a little uh, three sets, of, you know. But we do 30, three sets to 10 minimum, and work our way up. And, uh, you know, if you could do, remember, if you could do it in two sets, then that's time to move up in weight. So uh, as long as it takes you three sets to do it, you keep doing it. But once you can do it in two sets, then you move up. And your goal is to get to 30. So we're going to get started on lower back. So we're helping them out. I was just telling them to get five to seven reps. That one is going to be a little long. I'm sorry. But I'm just telling them for the future five to seven reps of my workout. So now I have Kenneth do it. So Kenneth, you want to? Yeah, I got you. No, it's you. Get over here. Me. So you're just going to put this all the way down because that means you get the most workout. And no, it's good. Don't touch it. Leave it. Now this over here, your feet. This bar over here to your left. Pull that to lift that up and push that down. No, the one below it. The one below it, yeah. Pull that. Now that moves this. Pull it up. Yeah. Alright. put it okay. to a good to a good like to a good look, mate. To a feels good. And then let it go. No, yeah, yeah, like hold it, but when it feels good, let it go. Alright. No, I'm saying like let it yeah, like All that. Right. Now feet go on top of it. Feet go on top. Alright. Get your weight. That's not your weight. So you when you find your weight, take it off, leave it off, leave it off like that. Leave it off. Now you're gonna put your butt all the way back. So it locks in there, and now this is the weird part. You're going to stick. Yeah, you're gonna stick. <laughs> you have to stick your chest out and poke your butt out. Go ahead. So stick your chest out and poke your butt out. Ah, now keep your body like that. Go backwards and come forward. And if not, you have to go all the way back. Yeah. All right. Boom. You see that? Boom. That's how to work out. This is just. I usually always start with no weight, just so we can find the right form, uh -huh. and then we get started on everything. Cool. So that's what you're gonna do. Is your chest poked out right now? Yeah. All right, now find your weight. Now when we work out, I was talking to Toto. We work out, we always do We always do three sets. We always do 30. So you could do it on however many reps you want to, but we always do 30 of them, right? So three sets at a time. So you're gonna do 30 of these guys. No. But you, you have to do a minimum of 10. A Go last. Hold on. Right, so I'm saying like, you don't have to fully, uh, you have to fully contract when you're doing a workout, but you don't have to fully uncontract. So if you do a shoulder press, how would you do the workout so that way you're not, so you're not fully uncontracting? Shoulder press going up and down, right? So where's the contraction? Like when you, where is your... Contraction is down here. Huh? Contraction is down so here. So if you held a dumbbell here for one minute, is that easier or straight over your head? Oh, it's gonna be harder. Like harder, it is. right? So it's harder when you hold it up here. So yeah. that's the contraction. All right, see. So you don't have to fully uncontract, but you have to fully contract. Yes. All right. Like just like that. Do it again. Uh huh. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Right? See, just that's why you don't have to come down to here. You don't have to fully uncontract all the way down here. So when you're doing your workout, you have to fully contract. It's gonna be help you because it's gonna be a shorter distance, and it's better because it's gonna be a full burn because you're contracting the whole time. So what basically whatever feels easier is the full uh con like is the full uncontraction right so whatever is like harder like if you stay in that position for a longer period of time versus the other position we're doing a workout whichever one is harder is the full contraction and you go from there halfway back to the full uncontraction and back so you can stay in that position halfway there and back you don't have to be fully uncontracted you just have to be fully contracted back to halfway uh un, un contracted back to full so halfway down so remember, wherever you're burning the most, there, back to halfway and back down. And that helps you out a shorter distance. So now he's going to do, now we're going to hop into another workout after this, uh, upper back. So.
paying attention. Bye. So, basically, you want to, on this machine, right, fully contract. So, this is obviously the full on contraction. Fully contract. You don't have to fully uncontract. All right, fully contract, go for uncontract. Next. Right here. So you want your legs to be locked in, right? Because when you're supported and you're stable, you can get a better grip. You want to have like a good foundation. So you want to make sure this is like, see? If it's like too high up here, my legs are moving around, I'm mm -hmm. not going to have a foundation. You want to really lock, so keep moving it so you can't move your legs. And you get these bad boys, it's going to fully contract, not fully on track. Make sure you're breathing. Come here. So you want to breathe, right? You breathe out when you're uh, contracting. Um, you breathe and when you're fully, when you're not contracting, but it's easy. So like this. And once it gets easy, you can do it through your nose. It's harder. It's easier to do, but it's harder to learn. So if, if it's like curls, it'd be when it's easy, you breathe out. You breathe in because, right, you're like a rest. Like if you're running, it's harder to breathe when you're running versus when you're walking. Same with this. So when it hurts the most, breathe out. And when it hurts the least, breathe in. Stop. Got it right in the crescent. Go ahead, do the work. Good. Uh-huh, 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 yeah. That's right. 10, nice, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go. So obviously, if we had our notebook, we would obviously go up weight the next time we did this next week, right? Yeah. Because you did 20 now, so obviously you see that? It's two. You probably put another one out and make it three. So that's how you are now. That's the workout. I'm going to do mine. So, uh, good. You want to, uh, if you like do a set, and let's say you do the first set and it's like 20, you know you're supposed to do 30. So you do the first set and it's 20. You don't go up weight during this, uh, that day. That's like the next, that's like your rest. Because when you go up, now it's gonna burn again. Three sets of 10, then three sets of 10, then three sets of 10. So let get that rest. But that day, when you do the reps, and as you could do it in two sets, enjoy the two easy sets. Because then you, you have to go up weight and get back to that three sets again. So just enjoy it, don't go up. All right, let's rock and roll. Shake it, shake it, Woo! That's right. You don't have to go all the way down, just all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Breathe out that negative energy. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> How many? Damn, that was like 13. Alright, that's so. <sighs> There you go, breathe out that negative energy, breathe in the positivity. My turn. Yo, man. I'm in a lazy mood right now, I'm sorry. But we're gonna do this ab machine. All right, pull down, top abs, you're gonna breathe out when you're contracting, which in this case is when you pull down, and then you're gonna breathe in when you're uncontracting. Then after that, we're gonna do this machine. I'm gonna show you the last one on the flight recording it, plus my battery's about to die. Right? Keep your body twisted to the side. Chest forward. See? My chest is forward, but my feet are twisted. Keep your chest locked in here, and then just twist your the bottom. While we do this, so. And then that's that one. I'm skipping that, and you'll see the last one. And that's it. The last one is the last one is lower abs, but we don't have time because I'm gonna hit the sauna. So we're just gonna go straight to the sauna. You're gonna see that. So sauna time. Yeah. You can sauna keep it. Time. Let's get a sweat going. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We gonna learn today. <laughs> 
Hold on, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get sauna ready. So it's time. Stay in here. I did my BMI yeah, count, and uh, get my sweat on. It turns out yeah. I need to sweat a gallon of water a day uh, to fully yeah. flush my body because it's development for my body fat percentage. <sighs> Kenneth over here only needs a quarter oh. of a gallon of water to sweat because he's a lot less body fat than I do. How are you feeling? So like let it loose. But uh, that's gonna be it for today. Uh. Hit the sauna, stretching it out of here. Oh, um, short day, but always I hit the sauna because I can stretch more flexible. But uh, no, well that's it for uh, this one. Um, I said don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, and more videos will be coming soon. Also, Ooh. I have a new membership for unlimited oh, passes, man. so if you want to come to the sauna, let me know. All right.